Hello everyone, welcome back. For this video, I am going to talk about some applications of the quadratic equation. Okay, so there are word problems uh, that when translated to mathematical expressions, a quadratic equation will be formed. Okay, we will uh, look at some of the problems I am talking about in the following examples. The first one, the Weba Park contains a flower garden 50 meters long and 30 meters wide and a path of uniform width around it. If the area of the path is 600 square meters, what is its width? Okay, so we have a park 50 meter by 30 meter and then there's a constant uh, width path around it. Okay, so let us draw the figure. Okay, so we have a rectangle and then here. Okay, so this is the figure. So uh, the shaded portion is the flower garden. We have 50 meter length by 30 meter width. So around it is the path of uniform width. That's what is unknown in this problem the width of the path so let us denote that as w okay as you can see on the illustration the width of the path is w therefore the total length here is 50 plus 2w because we have two uh, from uh, the, the top portion and the bottom portion of the path that's w plus w so we have a total length of 50 plus 2w okay and the uh, total width including the pathway is 30 plus 2 w now we are solving for that width of the path and the given is the area of the path as 600 square meters so if we get the area of the path that is 600 square meters okay so to do this one uh, we need to find an equation of the area of the path okay so if you take a look at this figure and remember your uh, plane areas okay the area of the path is equal to the total area of the rectangle minus the area of the garden right so in this case this is uh, the, the area of the rectangle that's 50 plus 2w multiplied by 30 plus 2w and then let us subtract the area of the flower garden that's 50 multiplied by 30 meters okay now this is the area of the path because uh, the bigger triangle minus the smaller the bigger rectangle i should say minus the smaller rectangle is equal to the area of the unshaded portion which is the area of the path okay let us equate these two 600 square meters okay so we have here an equation uh in in variable w okay so to answer this one let us um, so, uh, distribute this one 50 times 30 is uh, 1500 so that's 1500 plus 50 times 2w is 100w and then plus 2w times 30 is 60w and then 2w plus 2w is 4w squared 50 times 30 is 1500 so that's 1 minus 1500 and equate these to 600 okay so 1500 minus 1500 will be cancelled out so we are left with 4w squared okay we need to add 100 plus 60w that's 160w and then transpose the 600 to the left side of the equation so it becomes minus 600 equals zero so this is an equation uh, more particularly a quadratic equation okay so we can divide all the terms with 4 to simplify it okay for uh, w squared 
160 divided by 4 is 40. So we have 40 W minus 600 divided by 4 is 150. So this is y minus 150 equal 0. Now this is a quadratic equation written in standard form. So let us recall the different methods that we discuss in solving for a quadratic equation. The first one is this factorable. Okay. So let us take a look at the multiples or factors of 150. Okay, the factors of 150, we have 50 and 10. That if we add them together, uh, 15 and 10. So it cannot be, right? So the, how about... Okay, you will come up to... Uh, you will come to a point, okay? You will exhaust every factors of 150 and will come up with nothing, okay? That means W squared plus 40W minus 150 is not factorable, okay? So let us use other methods. The, uh, the square root property cannot be used here because we have a, a linear term, the 40W. So either the completing the square or the quadratic formula is applicable in this case. But of course, the quadratic formula is a lot easier because it's already given. The formula W is equal to negative B. So that's negative 40. And then plus or minus square root of Okay, b squared minus 4ac. So that's 40 squared minus 4 times a times c. 4, a is 1, c is negative 1, 50 for ac all over 2a. So that's over 2 times 1. Okay, so you can use your calculator to solve for w or uh, you can use... Uh, your prior knowledge to simplify the follow the radical there okay but you will come up with an answer of a negative 20 plus or minus 5 square root of 22 okay that's negative 20 plus or minus 5 square root of 22 okay so we have two values for w w is equal to negative 20 plus 5 square root of 22 and negative 20 minus 5 square root of 22 okay but then again you have to think what are the what is the domain of the, the of w is negative value of w applicable in this problem the answer is no because the width of the path cannot be negative right okay so we are going to do discard the first one i mean the minus we have to discard or let us write in here discard let us discard negative 20 minus 5 square root of 22 therefore the width is equal to negative 20 plus 5 square root of 22 which is uh, equal to let us use calculator here 3.45 approximately 3.45 meters so 3.45 meters is our answer in this problem let us take a look at another problem so this one is a work problem it takes a boy 15 minutes longer to mow the lawn than it takes his sister and if they both work together it takes them 56 minutes how long does it take the boy to mow the lawn by himself? Okay, so since the unknown is the number of minutes the boy will take to mow the lawn by himself, we denote that as our variable. Okay, so in this case, we let okay, we let b be the number of minutes. Okay, so number of minutes the boy will take to mow the lawn alone okay since we know that it takes the boy 15 minutes longer to mow the lawn than his sister then his sister will take b minus 15 okay so b 
minus 15. This will be the number of minutes the sister will take to mow the loan alone. Okay, so the sister. Okay, so that's the that's the relationship between the boy and the sister's uh, number of minutes to mow the loan by themselves. Okay, now if they work together, it will take them 56 minutes. Okay, there, if B is the number of minutes the boy will take to mow the, lo the, mo the loan alone, then his rate is 1 over B. Okay, we have tackled that in uh, work problem under the linear applications, diba? So, 1 over B, this is the rate of the, this is the rate of the boy. Okay, and the rate of the sister will be 1 over B minus 15. So this is the rate of the sister. Now, the, the sentence or the problem says that if they both work together, it will take them 56 minutes. So our working equation here is, okay, so they are working together. So that's 1 over B plus 1 over B minus 15 multiplied by the time they work together. That's 56 minutes is equal to 1. Okay, so that is our working equation. Now, to solve for the value of B in this case, we need to rewrite this so that we get rid of the denominators. Okay, so first I need to multiply this by 56 or I divide by 56. Okay, so our equation now becomes 1 over B plus. 1 over b minus 15 is equal to 1 over 56. Okay? And then we multiply this by the least common denominator. The least common denominator would be 56 times b times b minus 15. Okay? So for the first term, this one, the b will be cancelled. So we have 56 multiplied by b minus 15 and then for the next one uh, we have 56 times b 56 b and for the last one we have b times b minus 15 okay so we distribute so we have 56 b Minus 56 times 15 is 840. So minus 840 plus 56b is equal to b squared minus 15b. Okay, so uh, the b squared is here. So uh, this is a quadratic equation. So let us rewrite this in standard form. So we have b squared. This is minus 15b. We need to transpose 56 and 56 over there. So 56 plus 56 is 112. Transpose so negative 15 minus 112 is what negative 127. That's negative 127b. Then we have minus 840. So this becomes plus. 840 and this is equal to zero okay so this now is written in standard form so uh, let us think of a number no? that are factors of 840 so we are using factoring to solve the quadratic equation the factors of 840 okay that when uh added together the result is negative 127 okay and you will come up with 120 and 7 okay so we have b minus 120 and b minus 7 okay so those are the uh, factors of the given quadratic equation 
Okay, so we equate both factors to zero. We have B equals 120 and B equals 7. Okay, but uh, when B is equal to 120, then B minus 15 is equal to 120 minus 15, which is 105. Uh, in this case, when B equals 7, B minus 15 is 7 minus 15 would be negative 8. Okay? okay? You have to be careful with this because in, in a quadratic uh, problem, uh, there are always two solutions for a quadratic equation. But of course, in a problem, uh, only one, uh, most of the time, you know, only one is an acceptable answer okay in this case 120 is an acceptable answer because uh, B minus 15 the, the the number of minutes does the sister will take to mow the loan alone is 105 minutes is still applicable but in the case when B is equal to 7 the sisters would be negative 8 okay so that is why we need to discard this value because this is not possible in that in this case okay therefore to answer the problem the boy uh, we will choose or we will retain b equals 120 and we discard b equals 7 okay so the boy will take 120 minutes or that's two hours right so that is the answer for this problem